We're Ingrid and Eric. When we started dating six years ago, we both agreed that travel was a priority and we wanted to be living abroad in five years. We had a few surprises along the way in the form of three tiny humans, Landon, Finley, and Madeline. Unfortunately, many international borders are closed now due to the global pandemic. Not to be deterred, we bought a retired school bus that we are converting into a tiny home on wheels to travel across North America in. Come along with us as we take the road less traveled. Hey guys, Eric and Ingrid here. Hi. I am getting ready to fly out to Nashville, Tennessee. Go pick up our school bus. Getting ready for our first conversion. Pretty excited. We won the bus uh, the auction on Monday. I think so. And so today's Wednesday, flying out to go pick it up. I'm gonna land tonight in Nashville. Tomorrow I'm gonna pick up the bus. Friday I'm gonna have it serviced just to make sure it gets a tune up, then it'll actually make the road trip back to uh, Tampa because sight unseen, no idea what the condition is. Hoping it's good. So. And he's gonna take you along for the ride. So have fun. I'm here at Tampa International Airport. Tickets from Tampa to Atlanta. I take it from Atlanta to Nashville, Tennessee. Totally excited. Gallatin, in Tennessee. All right, it's Thursday morning. I'm sitting in front of Starbucks, waiting for my Uber to go pick up the bus. This is pretty exciting for me. I'm quite nervous. I don't know if it's because I'm afraid I'm gonna get a lemon. I have no idea what the condition of the bus is, or if I'm just afraid to drive it, because I have no idea. I mean, I've driven some big U-Hauls before, but never an 84 passenger bus, if that's even the size. I don't even know what I'm getting here. Future Ingrid here, let us know in the comments down below how many times you think Eric says the word bus Video. in this vlog. Oh, well, fingers crossed, wish me luck. All right, there's no fear at all. Nothing to be scared of. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my bus. Definitely the quickest introduction I got to driving a bus was make sure that the air pressure is above 120 and all the lights are off before I start her up. And that's it. About as easy as it gets as far as getting a temporary tag. Now I'm basically legal on the street. It's funny because I felt like I was doing something wrong, right? I felt like I was being naughty, but I'm trying to get a tag for a bus and I feel like they're just gonna tell me no. The bus has air brakes and so you need a special endorsement and I need to take the word school off of back of the bus and the front of the bus. I'm gonna drive it down to Murfreesboro and Murfreesboro is the dealer who can do a once over or a tune up on it. Call push it down over one side. Uh huh. Or push the whole thing to handle. Push up. So if they're open, push up like that. Yep. If it's up, as bad as the seal's leaking over here. Uh huh. That's it. Daddy, come home and drive the bus to us. Where am I? just outside of Nashville, two hours south of where I bought the bus from. I had the bus uh, checked out yesterday. Uh, they said there's some excessive blow-by, which means there's like oil leaks and blowing everywhere, but that mechanically she's generally pretty good. This morning as I take off, um, about an hour into the drive, I hit uh, a good thunk on, on the back of the bus, and all of a sudden the engine warning light went on. I pulled over at the next exit, sat around for an hour, talked to a truck driver, he gave me some suggestions as to what to do. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, so turned, waited an hour, I turned it back on, the en check engine light went off. I'm gonna try and hit the road and just see what happens. Hopefully no more issues. Hey! 
drive, Eric arrived home safely to Tampa. There were no other issues with the bus during the drive, though the check engine light remained on the remainder of the trip. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you are part of the schoolie or other similar community. We would love to connect. Stay tuned for any upcoming videos. We publish vlogs once a week. Today is demo day. The first bolt to come out, which was a big success, it took me I don't know, nine minutes to get out one bolt. I've just learned how to take the, the actual seat cushion off. Success. We are making our way through another day of actually taking out all the seats. This is a two person job. There are at least four bolts usually located here and at the back. Eric's gonna get under the bus while I'm inside the bus using the ratchet on our impact drill.